thank you, Erica, from clients like Kim Kardashian, Usher, and Kendra Wilkinson to being featured in magazines like Modern Brides, OK, and Cosmopolitans. We are pleased to welcome this morning San Francisco-based NARS lead makeup stylist and the one and only Janice Dowd. Good morning. She's coming here today to talk to us about spring makeup trends. Thank you for joining us. She brought a lovely model with her as well. So we want to go over the different looks that every woman should be incorporating into their makeup this spring. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So what's the first most important one to get at? So I would say there are three top uh, makeup trends this spring. And the first one would be Radiant Skin. I think we saw it all over the runways backstage at New York, Paris, Milan, um, and London as well. And I think everyone wants to know, how do I complete um, that look? How do I get that highlighted gorgeous? Gorgeous, radiant skin that's so nice for spring and how you want to achieve that is with the multiple stick the multiple stick is is absolutely beautiful product that's a multi-purpose product so it's sort of like a blush that one yes it's actually for eyes lips and cheeks and we're gonna give you a nice highlight with this I love products that have multiple purposes so yes. you can have one product that works in a couple so different places. so easy to do and what you want to do with this I'm gonna turn you like that we're gonna add a little bit of color to her so we're using this beautiful color from spring and you just want to take it directly with your finger or even with the stick apply a little bit to the cheek and just blend out creating that nice luminosity. Oh yeah her cheekbones really is starting to pop now but she's yeah. so pretty anyway she doesn't even need any makeup. <laughs> this looks what color would you everyone. call this one that you're using? This is a really nice rosy color. And um, anyone can wear that anyone color? Anyone can wear this. We have all sorts of colors but this is the color for spring that's gorgeous. Perfect. I also want to add a little bit to her eye so just right into the center of the the eye just to get a little bit of luminosity just like that so when she opens up she uh, has a little, punch of color little pop yeah. there right. and now do you put this on after you use some sort of foundation and concealer that's the tip I want you to do this before, before so it looks so a little first? bit yep Whoa. so it looks a little bit more natural so you want to start with with the multiple stick on on hydrated skin and then take a nice very sheer moisturizer or what I'm using today is the tinted moisturizer and just apply right on top blending into the highlighter so it looks a little bit more natural and just like skin. You're throwing my makeup teen for a little loop right now to do it the other way around. Yes. And does this have SPF in it, this one? This does has FPF. That's perfect. Uh, SPF, yes. It's a beautiful product. So you move it in. So that's move how you get in. the glowy complexion. And now yes. the next trend would be an orange lip. Yes. It seems very intimidating. Orange is the new red. It is the hottest lip of the season and this is how you want to apply it. Um, uh, I would use this first. This is a nice uh, chubby pencil from NARS. And that I is like orange, this. Orange. This is orange, orange, but you can make it your own. You can add a little bit of pink to it or a nice red to it um, and kind of create your own orange. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing here. So, as much as you apply, you can make it darker or lighter. Press your lips together. Exactly. And now, I, I think that this color might be tough for a lot of women to wear. Can anyone pull this off? Again, you want to make it your own. So start with something like this and definitely apply something else on top of it. And this is more of an orange red. So I'm going to go ahead and mix a little bit of that into it just to give you a little bit of a different shade here, but still sticking into that orange. So family. you make it a custom color Customize for your... Customize it to yourself, exactly. Whether you like a little bit of more red to it or a little bit more um, pink, but it definitely is going to give you that new trend that's going to keep you current, up to date, and modern. Those are all things I strive to be. Exactly. It's not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> so that looks great. That doesn't yeah. even look orange, orange like you think bright neon. Right, exactly. Because you can customize it exactly to um, to what fits you best. Perfect. And then the next trend is, I love these colors that you brought in for the yes. eyeliners. So Francois Nars, who's our creative director um, and also founder of Nars, loves a pop of color. And so what we're doing today is we're going to show you how to add blue. Now blue is a scary color for, to most people and I can Sounds see... Sounds totally 80s. Exactly. But uh, blue is a really nice way to pop the eyes to add a little bit of color into your makeup without doing anything else. So what you want to do with this is we're going to actually go right into... Look up for me. Right into uh, the lower lash line here, right into it and just with this pencil go back and forth and also a little bit underneath. And does it matter your eye color if you wear blue? Would it be now, better blue, if you have... 
Yeah, now blue is a color that anyone can wear, from the fairest skin to any darker complexions. But look how beautiful that looks, and it just gives uh -huh. a pop of color. So you sort of went under I the went eyelashes. Under, under the eyelash. And then to soften that up, you're going to use this beautiful aquamarine shade here. Just with a blending brush. Mm -hmm. And look up for me. See the different colors. And you're going to go ahead and blend it right underneath as well. So what that does, it actually softens it up and gives you more of a, a softer, more airy look. Gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, and I like how the orange and blue go together. Yes. And it's not, it's it's not, not too overwhelming. Yeah, it's exactly. not overwhelming at all. Janice, yeah. thank you for coming in. Thank you for we having me. There, and there's a NARS store on Fillmore Street there's in San Francisco. There's a NARS Francisco. store at Fillmore, and they can help you uh, keep you current, up-to-date, and modern. Thank yeah. you so much, Thanks. Janice. Thank you for coming in. She looks gorgeous. Thanks. We'll be right back.